Hi everyone, I was talking to my friend Ritu here, my absolute star client who started off all by her lonesome self a couple of years ago uh, doing accounting and bookkeeping and has grown her team into a 15 person operation, including herself. She's had to upgrade her office space twice in the last year alone because she's doing so well and because, and her husband also left his role at a very decent uh, job in fi high finance in the banking system to come join her as well to add uh, a bit more extra strength to the team. And I'm sure she enjoys telling him what to do each day as well as everything else she does. So, and I was also letting you know that I've been uh, talking to my groups and uh, the people in, in my groups of Mapping Our Decade, and especially uh, how like each daily decision, you're kind of steering towards um, either being wealthy or broke, you know, as amongst other things in health and relationships as well. But every decision is a decision that kind of steers your future one way or another. And the people that like steer towards wealth all have like particular things in common and as do the ones that just let themselves go broke. So Ritu, I would like, uh, I'll let you fill in the gaps as to what the common mistakes are for people that uh, don't really have control of their finances yet. Hello, Sean, and thank you so much for picking up this topic. I think it is going to help the context that you have and I have, uh, you know, at public at large because I've seen many people struggling with, uh, the, you know, decision that whether they should do their own bookkeeping or whether they should hire a professional bookkeeper. So let's let's hope that you know our discussion helps a lot of our contacts. So yes, um, when it comes to uh, you know doing your own bookkeeping, I have seen a common mistake that people make. So the for you know first common mistake that is the incorrect account head. And what I mean by incorrect account head because you know sometimes they mix the staff amenities the entertainment expenses, the travel and accommodation into one account. And when they see, when they print their profit and loss account, it really doesn't show a true picture of what they are spending and for whom they are spending. So if it is a staff amenities, it should go to that respective account. If it is a travel, it should go into that. Client gift should go to the client gift. So a lot of people do this common mistake that, you know, they don't choose a, correct account codes for when they are doing their own bookkeeping. Then other common mistake that do they do is uh, they really don't prepare proper budgets and cash flow. And even if they are preparing, they sometimes don't stick to it and they don't compare what they were they prepared and what they did. So I think uh, this, you know, uh, leads to incorrect decision making cash flow issues, stress when they need to make payments to, you know, their creditors. So this is the uh, common mistake that they do. Other common mistake that they are doing is they are not reconciling bank regularly. I would not say this is, uh, you know, their mistake, but because they are involved in some other business, bookkeeping is not their business. They don't get enough time to do it regularly. So they choose to do it, you know, once in a month or three months, but then, if they are doing it, you know, on that day, after three months, it is the dead data. I don't think so. It is going to help them out. They just need to allocate, but it will not help them out to take decision or rectify if there is any mistake. So that is something they are doing. And then they don't compare their financials month on month or quarterly or annually. I always recommend people to print out your financials, compare it with previous quarter or month, whatever frequency you think it, it is good so that you see how much sales has gone up comparatively how much expenses have gone up which expense has gone up like anything with that is going out of control for example people spend a lot of money on advertisement they think that it is going to bring sales and if sales are increasing by 10 percent but advertisement and other expenses are increasing by 30 40 percent then obviously they need to you know control their expenses or they need to look what is you know what mistakes they are making while doing those advertisement or taking those decisions to spend money. Then of course, one uh, common mistake they do, they don't keep copies of bills with them. And when it comes to some ATO audits or something like that, they always struggle collecting information. They spend a lot of time and of course they spend a lot of money as well. 
at that point of time. So we always advise our clients to always keep, you know, bills, copies of bills, everything, uh, all the records properly so that you can do your business free. You don't have any, you know, uh, uh, any issues in future. So these are the common mistakes that they do and what, you know, these mistakes lead to. So these mistakes, first of all, lead to incorrect presentation of their financials. I have seen clients, you know, whose PNL and balance sheet really don't make any sense. And I'm shocked. I always ask them, how do you take decision based on these financials? Because I, when I see them, I really don't find any value coming out of these statements. These are just piece of paper for me. So obviously, they will not be able to get a proper financial statement if their bookkeeping and accounting is not proper. And obviously, they will not be able to make decision for investment or, you know, borrow money because all these decisions need a proper, accurate financial statement. So this is what, you know, it leads to incorrect bookkeeping. And if they sort out their incorrect bookkeeping and accounting issues, then what benefits they will get? First, they can take decision for investment very easily because they will always have an up-to-date balance sheet and PNL cash flow, what cash flow they right, uh, projected cash flows for future as well. So they can take the, you know, investment decisions. They can take the, you know, uh, uh, lending decisions. Lending becomes easy because when you present your financials to the bank or the financial organization, it makes sense. So there is a less struggle, you know, application and, uh, you know, finalization of your uh, sanction of your loan application or something like that. It becomes easy. And most important thing, uh, it helps management to take decisions, to make a strategy for future five years, three years. Without proper and accurate financial statement, I think this is not possible for any business to grow because they won't be able to take uh, good decisions. So always decisions should be based on numbers rather than emotions. And numbers comes from your financial statement only. And financial statement, the source is your bookkeeping and accounting, the, how you have recorded the transaction. And obviously, you will have a control over your cash flow. Like we help our client telling them what they need to pay in this week and what they need to pay in coming weeks, like two to three weeks after this, so that they are aware and they can chase their data as well to get the money and they can pay their creditors on time. So cash flow is also something that you know is stressful but if you are doing it again it in an accurate way it is not going to be a stressful activity at all and not only with the financial with you know the current data but with future as well the proper bookkeeping and accounting will always help you to have a great tax planning so for example one of our clients when he came he was not at all organized and was struggling with his financials and he was he paid around 25k taxes you know the last year and when i saw i said i think you did a lot of errors you know in in preparing your financials and uh, uh data that's the reason that you you are end, ending up paying so high taxes and when we started taking up the bookkeeping and accounting tasks the tax planning and everything helped him to help him to save you know around fifteen thousand dollars in the next year. So that is one of the great uh, thing that I think the client will get benefit out of a proper professional bookkeeping and accounting services. Mm. Yeah, I, do, I absolutely love that you can help get help them get those types of results. And and yeah, and you, I think you also have a really good example of, uh, of a client who's already building multiple businesses in the form of franchises and keeping everything so nice and neat that like her decision making is just like so much an easier process. Yes, um, I'm very proud of that client because you know being into the franchisee model, I think it 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 tends to be a complicated model because a lot of individual franchisee owners are involved and head offices involved and a lot of you know things between them. But the way they are organized and we are the bookkeeper of the, you know the franchisee group. So when we started uh, the bookkeeping one and a half year ago, same as the age of capital, there were the eight franchisees and the one head office. And today they are 12. So they are growing really nicely. And 
how organized we are that you know we are organized with their inter entity reconciliation what the franchisee owner need to pay to the head office as franchisee fees franchisee fees calculation and you know uh, their incomes their expenses we prepare month to month pnl for all the franchises and we compare which franchisee owner is doing really good and which is struggling with the you know businesses so this one and a half year we have set up lot of good processes in place that it's like this they add up a franchisee and that franchisee is you know already into zero chart of account is prepared and bank fees are on and everything is just you know sorted no headaches at all yeah that's right so that, that's what i really love about having an absolute star client like yourself because you actually have access to all the financials and stuff to show you that like if you do the hard things now and get those parts sorted, get them planned, get them organized, you can really, really, really make things easier later and way more profitable because you know where every dollar is, where it's allocated and, yes, how, to, and how to grow that flow. Um you know, and your your own business is a, a, a really great proof of that, you know, you, because you've gone str from strength to strength uh, yeah. from all the time that we've known each other. Uh, you, you've just gone from one strength to another and, you know, and you've been willing to do the hard things now that you needed to learn in order to take that next step and to take that next step. You know, yes. so, uh, but yeah, with the financials, you can actually see the proof and I love that. So um, anyway, so um, I think we'll wrap this one up for today. Uh, absolutely always love catching up with you, Ritu, and I hope this video helps as many people as possible for the both of us um, yeah. and everyone around us, you know, because that's what we're here to do. We're here to help as many people as we possibly can get to a really good quality of lifestyle where you understand and know exactly where your finances are, where they're going, where they've been, um you know and and how to grow them you know because yeah. if you're going to have great health and great relationships and everything else you might as well have the great wealth to go with it so yeah. um yeah absolutely always a pleasure catching up with you Ritu, and i'll catch you next time thank you so much sean for your time you're welcome